Jane okay, Nestle's too. This is my mom. And? And today we're going to make waffles. It's one of our fun family things we make on the weekends. We don't make it every day of the week. And Actually, Jane, you're wrong. I spent one year oh, every that's true. morning that's true. trying to make waffles with just the few ingredients that I wanted to eat. So, I, and, it's, and if you're following along, we're doing all oat waffles on page 52 of the Brett and Rosartes cookbook. But we also have great recipes for waffles in our other books. That, that are not as pure. They have some walnuts. Oh my in gosh! Them. Our son Zeb came up with this waffles. Th these waffles that are so delicious. Big also. hit waffles. If you but, have but this I, 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 Jane, I love my waffles. So, I know. So. I wanted to find a waffle that was like eating my breakfast that just had the things in it I wanted to eat, which is oats and flax and a banana and some berries. So I actually came up with it. So you start you with a really... Ripe, you dumped your cereal bowl into the Cuisinart. Right. <laughs> uh, you start with a really ripe banana. And actually, one other cool thing, it's really efficient to peel a banana from the other end. I started from that, but you know, it, come, it comes off in a really clean way. You get a nice spotted banana, put it in the Cuisinart. Would you like to yeah. turn that on? And mash it up. Mash it up. And then we add a cup of oats, half a cup Oops, of sorry, water, sorry. some water, some flaxseed meal. If you do the whole flaxseed, it goes right through you. So just some flaxseed meal for your omega-3, a couple of tablespoons. Then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And after that, I love vanilla. I, love, you know, I, would, I would put two, stop. I don't know. Then, this is the coolest thing. You use orange zest. And, the, and if you don't, if you get tired of having bald fruit in your refrigerator, you can get orange extract, which I ended up doing some too. But you know, so many times people will. You're put, zesting the. You're zesting the. the um, oh, I'm zesting the, the, the stick, sticker. We a little sticker's good. <laughs> oh, don't zest it. Here's the flaxseed meal if you need to know about flaxseed meal. Oh, Wait, she's dot. She's successfully dodging the What I want to say is that sometimes you have people will put well. maple syrup or sweetener. You don't need it. And with this little bit of orange zest, it gives it a wonderful sweetness. Ready. Okay. Blur it up. Just, I'm just blur it until little flecks of oats are left. And then into your waffle maker. Now, if, if you have an old waffle maker, you're going to be so frustrated. It'll getting stick. it out. It, I mean, but it's this one horrifying. is really non-stick. That's, that's good. Right. And what I did is that I these are not going to be overflowingly big uh, waffles. They're going to be just nice little ones that kind of are so perfect you won't believe it. And we were recently in South Dakota, and the wonderful woman, Era Allison Garrish, who met us, uh, drove us, and she had lunch for us. And uh, one of the things in her lunch was these waffles, cold. Now, when they're cold, they lose their crispness. But you know what? I realized for the first time that that orange zest really Carries makes up. a difference. So. In they go. In they go, and they stay in for about eight minutes. Well, so it also depends on your waffle iron how how like efficient it is and how well you know it. Uh, you don't want to pull it up mid um, cook because it separates. But, but don't don't, about, don't open it up beforehand <clears throat> because they'll fall apart. But you know I what? Need talk about, I need to talk. Wait, 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 even if they fall apart, if you use. Um, a chopstick, you know, a we have wooden chopstick. You can get all the pieces out and eat them just in pieces. Or a little, um, this is a wooden skewer. Oh, so we'll have that's that. good. But what I've been working on back here is, what's, is uh, what we like to have on top of our waffles. Maple syrup is great. 
But sometimes it's nice to not have just that pure sweet maple syrup. So I have what's called Berry Berry Good Sauce, and it's in um, Plant Strong, a book I did when my brother Rick wrote, and I did the recipe section. And it is just berries. Usually the leftover berries my kids don't eat. Like the, the blueberries are a little too wrinkly. The strawberries that are a little too shrunken. And the blackberry that doesn't look quite the same as the other ones. Um, I take them and just cook them down with, uh, I squeeze in the lemon and some leftover clementines or oranges that the kids haven't eaten. So really it's sort of this fruit that's good, but kind of left over. And just cook it down. And it cooks down and cooks down into a, it's sort of a berry coulis. And it is delicious. If you add in applesauce, it's more, or apple, sorry, apple juice, it's a little more sweet. If you add in the citrus, it has a little more of a, kind of that sour. Um, you put in a lot of lemon. Are you no. shocked? You're, you're the no. acid queen. No, but it, it's, it'll, it'll be, be good. good. It's been a little over eight minutes. I never know if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, they're they beautiful. They're beautiful. Woo. Look at those. Look at those. Look at that. Aren't, isn't that something? And look. Woo. They're like little turtles. And you know what? The, the most exciting thing is right here today, we have somebody who doesn't eat plant-based at all. And he actually, he's, he's only 18, and he, he, he's gonna try these. And we have our fingers crossed that he is going to love them. He's gonna and, love them! And look, you can put a raspberry in each bowl. And we'll give you some maple syrup if you need it instead of having no. coolie. The coolie the coolie's piping hot back Henry here. Henry does so not it'll, get it. It may not be ready right now. Or you could put blueberries. But the raspberries always are so amazing. Or maybe we could have a few little blackberries. And then it's so pretty. You could cut up more berries or banana. But anyway, they are wonderful. It's fun to make these. They do, they're crispy now. They will get soggy but you can put them in the toaster later and heat them up the next day. You want to try it with some maple syrup, you guys? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'll put a little maple syrup on. Yeah. Yes, let them individually. That ever they, they cannot try it until they've had it without maple syrup and just okay. that. Okay. All right. So Thank we'll you. see what happens. All right. Hey, well, you go home and you make your waffles however you want. And hopefully your cool lead will be done in time. Mine is almost done. But, I'm, I'm going to pull it up like, The quickly. amazing thing about these is that it's just got oats in it. It's like eating your breakfast. It's got everything. Hell, and, and, and here's the cool lead. It's almost, it's almost done, but it's just too hot to sort of pour onto in someone's mouth. But all these, this fruit just melts down into this beautiful, beautiful, very, very good sauce. Okay, so off you go. Make your waffles how you want them and decorate them so you will eat them. Enjoy. Bye.